As it currently stands, we have two teapots in our scene and an arrow, and the teapots aren't even oriented correctly. I want to get these teapots oriented correctly, maybe put the arrow somewhere else, I don't know. Let's, let's set up an interesting scene so that we can do some lighting. The first problem is, I said cube, that's from some old code, I said make a teapot and cube. And, uh, let's do a control H here, cube, teapot, match case, match whole words. Replace all, 14 occurrences replaced, and we'll I don't know, get rid of that, that's not really helping anyway, I believe in the paint GL method down here, cube, mostly teapot, looks like we have cube here and cube here, don't blink, I believe I got all the cubes changed to teapots, and so now we have a couple teapots, they're not oriented correctly, let's go to where we paint them, and adjust these matrices, rotate, I'm going to say rotate zero, and then down here we'll say rotate zero as well, so zero rotation for the moment, I want to show you when the teapot comes in, it's actually not oriented up anyway, it's oriented on its side, I'm not sure why they did that in model space, to have the Z, it looks like the Z axis is the, the positive Z axis is up, so what I want to do is do a 90 degree rotation. I believe I need to go negative 90 if I remember correctly. And of course, now we have two disoriented teapots because run rotation is negative 90 around the X and negative 90 around the Y. Let's change this to a negative 90 around the X axis. That should get our teapots nice and oriented up. They're a little squished together, so let's. Let's further do our translation. I'm going to bump this up to a 6, get it further out in front of us, and then widen them up a little bit. We'll say this is a 3, and this will be a negative 3. I'm just trying to make an interesting scene because the next thing I want to do is add lighting to our scene. We have an arrow, we have some teapots. I want to put a light bulb in the scene. And, and well, once you add lighting, it adds a lot of realism and it's a lot of fun to do lighting anyway. I think our teapots are looking good. Let me add a plane to the scene, a floor if you would. This code I have so far is not very maintainable because I'm going to have to come down here and say shape data. Plane gets shape. Generator make me a plane. And then I got to do all this junk we did before for the plane. It's not very reusable not very maintainable code, uh, but I don't want to solve that problem now. I'm just going to bash a plane in here, and later on I'll show you how to make this a little more elegant, a little easier to use. That will be a little bit of a workout to do that. So don't blink. I'm going to go and do all the work I have to do to add the plane in here. Copy and paste this code like a monster, because copying and pasting is the best way to do things. Hopefully you're seeing that me having to... Add all these variables for every single geometry I want to add is going to be painful. We'll clean this up later. Ah, uh, more copy and paste. Just makes me feel like such a pro. Not! And more copy and paste. Hopefully you're realizing we should probably patch this up some sometime soon, hopefully. No translation for the plane. I just want to put it in the center of the world. In fact, I could just leave it out and save the multiplication here, but I'll leave it in for learning purposes. And of course, with copy and paste, I introduce bugs. I forgot to come up here and make the buffer big enough for the plane. And voila! We have a plane in the scene. We have teapots. I think I want our plane to be a little bit bigger though. So I'll say make plane, a 20 by 20 plane. The default argument there I believe is 10. I just said make it a 20 by 20. There we go. We have an arrow and a couple of teapots. I think we're good to do some lighting. So in the next video, we're going to start talking about lighting, the three main types of lighting that a lot of games use. There's several different lighting scenarios, but I'll teach you the three fundamental ones, and we'll go from there.